Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in this week's video, I want to sit down and give you guys a little bit of a rant about something that's been happening in my life lately, and that is about fake friends. Or people act like my friend, but just because they know that they can use me in some type of way. Now, I already made a video on this subject. It's called um, self-confidence, hate, dealing with toxic people, fake friends, and stuff like that. It's on my channel. You guys can check it out if you guys want to. But this video is more specific to the type of fake friends who are in my class. They never talk to me. They never interact with me. They never, like, they never even look my way, you know? I could be drowning and they wouldn't even want to save me. But these people, they're in my class and come time when there's a homework assignment given out or a test that's coming up and a study guide's given out, they'll all of a sudden come and talk to me or sit with me or, like, send me messages on Snapchat or, or Facebook or whatever. And I don't want to sit here and say that I'm against helping people with homework and stuff like that. I'm totally open to helping people if they come to me and they're like, hey, Lawson, can we compare answers or hey can you help me uh, walk through the steps of question like 13 or assignment 2 or whatever I'm totally okay with that but there are type of people who would never talk to me like ever like I'm not even sure they know my name or something anything like that but they would just come to me for the purpose that they need answers to the, an assignment or a homework or a study guide or anything like that now I also want to bring up the fact that a friend of mine came to me and she said to me she was like hey do you know this person and I was like yeah what about him what's up and my friend was like, oh, don't give him any homework answers anymore. And she was like, because I was talking to him and he told me that he didn't finish any of his homework or anything like that. And my friend, she said to him, like, how are you going to, how are you going to pass the class or anything? And he told her that she told, told, told me in these exact words is that, oh, I'll just copy answers from Lawson. And I'm like, it's one thing to be copying people's answers, but it's another thing to be so shameless about it. And these type of people... Like, you know, I do have friends that I share my homework with and stuff like that, but it's a two-way thing, okay? So, like, I would have a friend who would ask me for notes for, like, uh, section 4, 5, and 6. I'll send her my notes and the homework and the answers and everything, and I'll explain anything to her. But then when I need, like, notes for, for section 3, 4, and 5, she'll send them to me. She'll send me her homework. She'll sit down and she'll, like, explain to me what the homework is about, you know? And these, my, these friends that I actually want to share like myself with like i know if i message them at like three in the morning or something they'll reply to me like quick they will reply to me just like that and they'll send me their homework answers and they'll help me through an assignment if i have confusion on it or something like that but these type of people like they never talk to me they never interact with me except for the fact that they need homework answers now i know what you're thinking i can probably just block these people on social media and stuff like that or just not reply to their messages these people are in my class and I know that I know them in real life and stuff like that. And they come up to me and they act all buddy buddy with me and ugh, gag me. Because like someone, oh my god, this is so specific. But like, I know this chick in my class who never talks to me and I kind of don't like her. But she comes up to me and then she puts her hands on me and stuff like that. And I have like a whole ordeal about physical contact. I'll make a video on that. But she will come up to me and then she'll put her hands on my shoulders and stuff like that. Or give my hair a good fondling and be like oh Lawson can you help me with number three or can you give me the answer to this I'm like really it's just disgusting it turns me off it makes me want to drop out of the classrooms because of her and like oh my gosh you guys I sound like such a negative person right now I'm not I promise I'm not like just like I said I'll help people with their homework assignments but it's just the way that you come off at me you know you know like I think of it as like if you come at me like sideways, I won't help you. And like, you know, I'm, I'm just a weird person about it. And like, I know there are type of people who will just give out the answers and not care. But like, if it's like English or if it's like history or something like that, and people ask me for answers, these type of people, like, oh my gosh, they will copy, like if it's like a sentence, sentences that you have to write or a paragraph that you have to write, they'll copy your work word for word and that is how you'll get in trouble because the teacher will pull you up to the front of the classroom and be like hey you and like whoever Bethy sue has the same the exact same answers for this question and then she'll just like throw away your your assignment and give you an f on it or something and i'm like how lazy do you have to be look like, okay i know it's extremely lazy not to do your work in the first place and ask people for answers but to ask people for answers and copy their work word for word. Like, you are on a whole different level of laziness. Ugh, like, these people, they just ugh, ugh, gag me, please. Like, ugh. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's only, like, two, like, 
what, a month into the school year and I'm already over it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that is all that I had to rant. I just needed to get that off of my mind because it happened pretty recently to me and it like it really bothered me and it stuck on my head a lot. Like usually like things just roll off of me. I I do have a carefree attitude and I don't really care what people think or say or do or whatever. But this is like a reoccurring event or something it's a reoccurrence and it's so annoying like don't talk to me unless you make an effort to like you know be my friend or be acquainted to me you know i'm much more open with helping people if they're open you know they're a type of people who are like like they put on a facade you know when they're with their friends they act all tough and everything but then like like when they're off by themselves they try to be all buddy buddy with you and they try to get stuff out of you and like the moral of this story, if you get nothing from it, is that don't let people use you. And if you know that people are using you, tell them. 10 out of 10 chances that they'll that, that person will just stop talking to you in general. But if they actually want to be your friend, don't make an effort. And I know, I noticed people trying to make an effort to be my friend. And I really appreciate that. But that is all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe down below. And also, let's be friends. <laughs> How ironic is that? I also link my Instagram and my Twitter handles in the description bar down below so you guys can follow me on there if you guys want to. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!